Welcome back to my channel. This will be our first vlog of 2022. Hopefully this year I'll actually remember to do vlogs when I go out competing. So we are away to Netherton today for the Irene event. Jock doesn't actually really like Netherton, but I do. But today is going to be the last chance like we give it, if that makes sense for him. He just doesn't seem to jump really well there. Um, so yeah, there's no point keeping going back when he's not happy. So we'll see how he gets on today at the Irene event. He's not seen any cross-country fences. So... <laughs> since August at Hopeton or even mock cross country fences so this could be quite interesting and I've picked probably the worst day to go because look it's absolutely freezing and it's icy and it's slidey and he's been clipped so he'll probably be fresh which is going to be a disaster <laughs> As requested on my Instagram story, you guys wanted me to do a voiceover. So, let's get going. Jump one was okay, but why am I not sitting up? Jump two was okay. Now, he's really spooky. I don't know why. Um, yeah, he clearly just thought he was going to be petrified of jumps for a little moment near that corner. Jump three wasn't too bad at all. It was quite nice. Jump four, he just went a little bit flat. That wasn't a bit. He cleared it, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't the nicest of jumps. Um, jump five, the double jumped in nice. Need to work on coming out over the second jump. Jump six was actually not too bad. So, look, round this corner again, he was absolutely fine. So, I don't know what his problem was the first time. Absolute horrendous jump here. And then he popped that like it was nothing. So, it wasn't too bad. Round the corner pop that easy peasy and then coming into this little skinny he's actually really good because he's not jumped one of these before so yeah i was really happy with that and then he popped the second one as well quite happily then we have a corner he's only ever jumped one of these out cross country training so it was really good of him to be so honest and pop that like that especially with a big tree now this is the water tree the first time and look he jumped that so squint midair as well so he must have found that really scary bless him I didn't think it was scary at all. Was it even blue? It was like a working hunter tree. Next is an oxer. He just backed off this, so God gave me a really horrible jump. And then I came into an offset double with really long reins, but he popped through it quite happily. But look at my face. I was laughing the whole round because I was like that out of control. <laughs> spooky um, initially coming into the ring this time so that was a lot better so jump one was awful bad riding i will take full responsibility for that why did i not shorten my reins but considering he jumped number two actually not too bad he was a lot better around this corner the second time he wasn't near as spooky um, wrong leg but he quickly fixed it to jump three so i was happy with that jump that was fine a little tap down the shoulder because he just wasn't listening just how i wanted him to 
over jumps that because apparently he doesn't want to touch that off his back legs. Let's just say I'm lucky my instructor didn't see how I rode this, otherwise I'd get a swift kick up the bum. Okay-ish in. Horrendous out, so that means it's definitely something I'm going to have to work on in my next lesson. Totally over jumps that. Why is that man poop scooping when I'm jumping? Is that necessary? I really don't think it is. Hideous jump to that again. I think it's because it's so close to everyone standing spectating. That jump was okay. Totally over jumped this for no apparent reason because it's not scary. Coming around to the style, I wasn't worried, but right in front of this, this man is still poop scooping. Which I don't understand why. Why is he there? Why is he in the ring? So Jock clocked onto him. He did get his bum smacked, and I'm not actually like afraid to show that because at the end of the day, that is wrong. He should have jumped it. Now, better that type. There's that man over there now scurrying off, right? This jump was horrendous because he shot to the right, so I about came off left. Had to recuperate because this oh, the corner, sorry, coming up was obviously bigger and wider. But you know what? He actually jumped it quite nicely. <laughs> And then he was backing off and spooking and I rolled like an absolute potato and then you see me fall off. I'm actually not even embarrassed to show this because unfortunately this is what happens when you ride like a potato. So you will see that my air jacket disconnects now and the smoke that goes with it. So that is me inflated. <laughs> and then you'll see me hit my head off the floor. But to be honest, I came with zero injuries, so that air jacket serves a purpose and I wouldn't go cross country without it. Um, but yeah, Jock then trots off and has a cheek to ask my mum for a polo. <laughs> Hello. So, you've probably all seen how today went, which was rather interesting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where to start. So we arrived with plenty of time to warm up, tack up, look at the course. But the time I got in the warm-up arena, they must have been running a fair bit ahead because I only did two or three laps of trot. Had a little walk, watched a few people jump and then did a couple canters and was asked to go in the arena. Now, I wasn't on till about, say, quarter past 11 and I got called at like 11. Um, so I did one warm-up fence, which... Yeah, it doesn't work for Jock. We've tried it before. We didn't, didn't try it. We were rushed before at Howe one day and that is the spookiest he has jumped. So I went in with very little expectations. <laughs> and as you can see, he found it very, very scary. But he, he actually flew around, to be honest. this He was a little bit speedy, which wasn't ideal. But he actually picked up fourth, which was really good considering it was quite a big class. And I didn't have any expectations for him going into that arena. Then the 90, we had a few more jumps in the warm-up, which was fine. He seemed to settle down. And then when I went in, we got to jump... What jump was that? 13, 10, 11, 12, 12, jump fence, 12. So I got round and he was so much better. And then we came in the corner to the little arrowhead. So he jumped in the 80, which was fine. Did he bat an eyelid? Came round to the 90 and there was a man poop scooping, which is not an excuse because Jock should have jumped it. But he locked on to the manny and not the jump. So he did get his bum smacked. So I'm waiting for the You Shouldn't Smack Your Horse's Bum crew to come at me. But unfortunately, he has to learn that is not acceptable, unfortunately. So I think the man knew he was in the way because he quickly scurried away to another fence and stood there till I got over it the second time, which was fine. Like, it's one of those things, you learn from it, you make the mistake and you go away home. Away, away home? Holy moly, that was awful. Away home. And you learn from it and practice to not make it happen again. The next fence was another skinny and he popped it and then shot to the right. <laughs> so I was hanging on, lost my step going into the corner and then jumped the corner fence. He was absolutely fine, popped without no problem and then coming to the water tree again, I should have, as a rider, went back to chop. But I didn't. I just kicked on. <laughs> Oh dear me. So he spooked and stopped and I hit the deck. Which was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I fell off. 
But to be honest, I was actually needing a fall off. I was due one. I've not fallen off in four years, so I think I got away with that quite quite well for that length of time. But yeah, so tell me how you rated my fall off out of ten. I wouldn't say it was stylish. Hilarity maybe an eight. I thought it was quite good. But yeah, I luckily I didn't I wasn't broken when I fell off, let's just say that. I was fine. I just got a fr I think a fright. Because I've not fallen off in so long, I actually forgot what it was like to fall off with my air jacket. So I had my body protector with me and my air jacket because they always just go together for going cross country. And after the 80, I was in like the collecting ring bit and I said to mum, I'm going to put my air jacket on. And she literally looked at me and was like, it's indoor. What is, it? is that not a bit over the top? Like we're not going out cross country. And I was like, no, I'm just going to put it on. I had this little voice in my head saying, put it on. It was very spooky. Just put it on. <laughs> Thank God I did. Yeah, that little voice comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> Didn't get his bum smack for ditching me at the fake water tray, which can I add, it wasn't even blue. It was black and the like the border of it was fake grass, so it wasn't scary. I didn't look at it and think, holy moly, what are you gonna do? I was more thinking, why are you being so silly? But yeah, mum caught him and he actually still looked for a treat <laughs> after. So when Jock comes out the ring, he always gets a polo because he's normally such a good boy. So he thought, Oh, I'm still gonna get a polo today. He didn't get a polo. <laughs> he got a chip instead <laughs> oh dear but it was one of those things so lots to work on my saddle is getting checked next a week on friday because i could feel it moving about and it slipped back a bit when i was in the ring so i wasn't very impressed with it then so that's going to get fixed well checked probably reflocked and then the gullet put in it because he's changed shape a bit um, then I want to build a arrowhead and like a shoulder jump and so I'll have that was my arm that was disgusting um, so I'll have broom on it so something else to practice at home um, and then hopefully I think our next outing will be to arena hire at the Oaktons Team Oakton in Dumbog with all weather surface um, cross country jumps so hopefully there'll be a couple of us going to that so I think that's perfect opportunity for him to see things on surface, not have to worry about the weather because you can obviously go there all the time. But I'll take you guys along on the journey with me. Other than that, I will just be at home doing lots of homework, lots of flat work, getting him stronger, lots of pole work, getting Bella fit again, build up her top line and hopefully she'll make a little outing soon, which is so exciting as she's not been out since the Highland show, which to me... Well, it feels like ages ago, but it was nearly seven months ago, which is crazy. This is really scary, but yeah, fingers crossed. But hopefully you enjoyed my little day with me out competing at the other time. Um, but yeah, please subscribe, like this video. And if there's any other channels below, like any other channels you think that I would like, please comment them below because I really want to expand my YouTube channel. But yeah, let me know what you rated my fallout of because I was rated about seven. It was quite boring but the hilarity level brought up. <laughs> Bye!